Hey there! Today I'm going to talk about a pen which I got. Uh, and when I say got, I mean I didn't pay for it. Someone sent this to me as a gift. And that person was Ziggy. You know Ziggy. Uh, I, I'm sure you do. I'll, I'll put a, a link to his channel uh, in the description of this video. Uh, he, uh, he does pen reviews. I love his style. I, I think it's it's awesome. His love of tea is fantastic. I love tea too. I love pens too. We both love swords. We both love neuropsychology. So we have a lot in common. Uh, except he's in Canada and I'm in the Netherlands. So there's a bit of distance between us. But okay. He loves Chinese pens. And he had two sort of copies of one pen. And he said, well, I only need one. So he sent me one, which is extremely cool. And that pen is the Luo Shi. Luo Shi. I'm not sure about the tone, so I just pronounce this Luo Shi. A god of longevity. And this is not a pen I would usually buy, because it has a very uh, detailed sort of workings on the barrel. Um, and I always thought that would distract from the use of the pen, it wouldn't really be nice, but this pen has convinced me otherwise. So, here we have the pen. It's not a small pen. Um, I can't really show you the details on there very well, but I think you can see the little bit. Uh, and it's very cool. It's one of these Chinese sort of line drawings of the god of longevity, which the pen is named after. So it's an old man, you know, this type with the Chinese robes, a bald head, and the, the long beard resting on a stick. Very cool. I love the color of this pen, the gold and the black. I think that works very well without looking keech. It actually... I just love it. There are four characters on there, um, Chinese characters. I have to ask my colleague what they mean. I wouldn't be surprised if it's something like God of Longevity, something like that. And it says 739 model number, I'm guessing. Okay, so I'll, I'll show you the parts of the pen, tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. And uh, do a writing sample, and that's it. Let's start with the cap. Uh, the cap is a pretty simple design, but I, I kind of like that. On top is this white thing. It's very white. I don't know why. I think something black would have been more in you know in touch with the rest of the pen, but okay. It's white. Now we have the clip. The clip is pretty tight, but not so tight that it cannot be used. So it will definitely keep your pen in place. And the shape of the, the clip is kind of interesting. You have the sort of rounded thing there, which has something I'm guessing that's the Luo Shi, uh, their the, the logo, but I'm not sure. And then you get some, some ribs there, which is, which is all kind of nice. I'm not sure how you can see that, but it's there's detail on the clip, which is nice. Sometimes the clips are a bit neglected, I think. Okay, so you got this gold ring, holds the clip in place, and you got another gold ring there, which... No, it's actually a gold ring. It's not painted on there. Okay, well then, of course, the beauty of this is the barrel. There's a lot of detail on this sort of etching. You got the, the God of Longevity, you got a tree, there's a deer, there's a sun. Uh, well, not a sun, the sun, obviously. Uh, there's some some croissants flying in the air, I'm guessing they're birds. Uh, it, it, and then on top and, and below there are some rings with, with some really nice, these bands have some, some nice detail on there. Uh, I, I I really think it's cool. It seems to be metal, not plastic, so that's cool too. And you got the end cap, which is very shiny plastic. Uh, I It's actually like a, like a mirror. I can see myself in there. Very cool. Okay, then, the cap goes on there very tightly. So there's no way you can... It's a slip cap. There's no way you accidentally open this, I think. Then we got the grip section. Black, tapered, some gold details there, gold details there. Uh, you got the, the, the nib. As with many Chinese pens, I've used the feed. It doesn't have any fins, so it's completely flat. Um, the nib is a, a dual tone. It again has, yeah, I think that's the Luoshi logo in the middle in gold. Then around that is silver, and then the, the, the nib itself, like the, the times, they're gold again. Looks pretty cool. Not extremely spectacular, but it looks cool. It says 22 kgp, so 22 karat gold plated, uh, and it's nice. It's actually pretty smooth. Um, I'm assuming this is a fine uh, 
with Asian nymphs is a bit difficult to say, but I, 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 it's a pretty fine line. Uh, not actually the finest I've ever seen, so it's it's not extra fine or anything, but it is pretty fine. And it's smooth. Um, when we unscrew that, let's weigh it. I'm actually interested, sorry, I have to get some stuff out of the way here. Of course I should have done that prior to recording the video, but I like living on the edge. I want to weigh the whole thing, so I screw it back together. Well, okay, first I'll show you the converter. Uh, it's a very simple plastic converter. It, it, I'm not sure whether you can disassemble it. It looks a bit like you could take off this part, but I'm, I'm not sure. You can take out the nib and the feed, uh, the friction fit, so for cleaning purposes that's very useful. I haven't seen a whole lot of nib creep. Um, currently I got Akamon Chinatown Red, you know I thought Chinatown, Chinese pen. <laughs> it's funny. Um, let, let's try that. 50 grams exactly, that's a heavy pen. Um, it's significant. Right here I got a, a Pelican M205 Jewel. Uh, which is not metal, but just plastic, and that weighs about 10 grams, so it's it's five times as heavy. Um, so, I showed you the converter, I showed you everything. Um, what do I like about it? What do I not like about it? Well, I think the design is awesome. Again, I, I, would, not, I would not have bought this myself, but now that I've seen how cool this can be, I would definitely check this kind of stuff out in the future. Um, what I like about it is it's a big pen, Pelican M205, Luo Shi, so that's a significant difference. Parker IM, it's a, big, a, bit diff, a bit bigger, still smaller than this pen, the Chinese pen. So I like that, I like larger pens, I like heavier pens, so for me that's perfect. Um, it is very heavy, right? So the barrel is with this metal, and when you write, it tends to be a little bit top heavy. And when you post it, which you can do, it turns very big and, and you know, seriously heavy. And, and I don't mind, but I can imagine there are people who would. Um, so that may be something that you want to consider. For me, it's definitely not a negative, but, you know, uh, you, you may want to check it out. came with a converter, I'm assuming, or, uh, so that's, that's cool. I like that. Um, there's nothing else, except for one thing. The pen was dry. When I got it, uh, the nib was, was pretty dry. It, it skipped quite a bit. Um, I've had this before with Chinese pens. Uh, I don't know whether that's it maybe a thing with, with the quality control, the Chinese, you know, the, the somewhat, somewhat cheaper um, Chinese pens. Maybe it's something else. I'm not sure, but in any case, it was a bit dry. So what I did was I, I widened the, the, the gap between the two times a bit. Because when I when I put it when I held it to the light, what you should see is a very narrow beam of light passing between the two tines. I couldn't see that. So now that I've 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 um, done that a bit and widened it a bit, just with a little brass sheet, it got a lot wetter. And uh, while I was at it, I just smoothed out the nib just a little bit. It wasn't particularly scratchy. I just did that, you know, as an extra thing. And now it's it's beautiful. So maybe that was 15 minutes of work. And now it writes fantastically. It's nice and wet, not too wet, just nice and wet, nice and smooth. I love that. So, very, very cool. Um, that's really all I can say. So it's a big pen, it's a heavy pen, it's a very nicely decorated pen. Uh, it may be a bit dry when you get it, but you can probably solve that yourself. And that's all there's to it. So what I'll do next is a writing sample, and um, that's all there's to it. So I hope this was useful, and um, Ziggy, Thanks again. It's really cool. I really like this pen. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Okay, so here we go with this pen. I'm not sure how well you can see these, these details, but I've got to tell you it looks pretty cool to me. So what we have here is Luoshi God of longevity. The nib is Asian, fine, and the ink is Ackermann, Chinatown, red, which seemed appropriate for a Chinese pen.
Writing is smooth, the nib is fairly hard, but I think that is the case with many uh, Chinese pens. Um, it feels fairly hard, although I should actually say I do seem to be able to get some line variation. So it's not a nail, but it is a bit hard. Nevertheless, you can actually get quite a bit of line variation, as you can see here. Okay, well let's do some fast writing. I don't know about you, but I didn't see any skipping. There was a little bit right there, but that was... I don't know, I guess I was angling the nib a bit weirdly there. In any case, I think it's a pretty impressive uh, performance, to, to be truthful. Um, so, some coloring perhaps. As you can see, it now lays down a fairly nice, even patch of ink. Um, flow is good. As I explained in the first part of this video, I, I did a little bit about that, but it's, um, the result was very good. I think. I've got to tell you, I just like it. I, I like this pen. It's interesting, it's a good weight. Yeah, <laughs> there isn't an awful lot I can say about this as negative. I just like it. So, uh, I hope this was useful. And, um, of course, I thank all of my viewers and I thank Ziggy for sending me such a nice pen. Right, well, that's all there's to it. I hope this was useful, and um, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.